what is up my chemistry people are we ready for a short and sweet free response <sighs> oh yeah me too since the structures of a water molecule and a crystal of lithium chloride are represented above Ooh, so pretty a student prepares a 1.0 molar solution by dissolving 4.2 grams of lithium chloride in enough water to make 100 milliliters of solution. Part A. In the space provided below, show the interaction of the components of lithium chloride by making a drawing that represents the different particles present in the solution. Base the particles in your drawing on the particles shown in the representation above. Include only one formula unit of lithium chloride and no more than eight molecules of water. Your drawing must include the following details. Identity of ions, including symbol and charge, and two, the arrangement and proper orientation of the particles in the solution. All right, now I'm cheating a little bit here because I'm going to use these nice particles to sort of drag in, but first thing we need to do is identify which of these two is going to represent lithium and which of these two is going to represent the chloride ion. Hopefully we can identify this one already as H2O. As I head to my trusty periodic table, here is lithium, here is chlorine. Think back to the good old days of periodic trends, which of those two is going to be the smaller ion? Hopefully you identified that lithium would be, it's only going to have one main energy level after it loses that valence electron. So I'm just going to drag in this sucker, drag in this sucker. Now don't forget, we're asked to include symbol and charge. This one's going to be the lithium ion, it's really important. This one is going to be the chloride ion. Again, don't forget those charges. You won't get the point otherwise. All right, now it's time to throw in some water there. We want no more than eight molecules of water. Remember that the molecules of water are going to orient themselves so that the negative ends, or the oxygen ends, are going to face the positive lithium ion. So if I were to draw four molecules of water around lithium ion, they should all be oriented as such. Opposite for the chloride ion, you should see the positive hydrogen ions of the water molecule oriented towards the negative chloride ion. Boom, three points. And you need to practice your art skills. The student performs a precipitation reaction between lithium chloride and silver nitrate. Part B. Write the balanced equation for the reaction between lithium chloride and silver nitrate, including states. Whew. Okay, nomenclature to the rescue here. Lithium chloride aqueous plus silver nitrate aqueous forming it's a precipitation reaction, which is, remember, an example of a double replacement reaction. We're going to get some lithium nitrate. Also aqueous, because remember that nitrate always is going to form an aqueous salt, which means that our precipitate is going to be the silver chloride, aka solid. How nice is that? Everything's balanced with coefficients of one. Done. B part I. Write the balanced net ionic equation for the reaction, including states. First, I'm going to go total or complete ionic. I'm going to throw down all of the ions everything that's aqueous anything that's a solid i'm gonna keep it together boom that's my complete or total ionic equation includes everything my net ionic say adios to those spectators remember the spectators appear as aqueous ions on both the reactant and product side of the equation which means that my net ionic equation, or the equation that involves only the things that are doing some chemistry, in this case, forming a precipitate without the spectators. Don't forget those states. Boom. All right, we are flying. Part C. Assume excess silver nitrate was added. What is the maximum amount of precipitate in grams that could form? Okay, where are my numbers? What am I going to do to start? Again, if you ever get to a point where you're confused, keep in mind, with these free response problems, you often have to go back to earlier parts to help you understand how to answer those parts that are later on in the problem. So let me scroll back up here. Oh, a student prepares a one molar solution by dissolving 4.2 grams of lithium chloride. There we go. So we know that lithium chloride is gonna be completely used up, all 4.2 grams of it, because we're told that the silver nitrate is added in excess. First thing I'm gonna do, convert to moles. 42.39 is my molar mass of lithium chloride. 
Now, which of these is my precipitate? The silver chloride. This ratio comes from my balanced chemical equation, which is one to one. And then finally convert back to grams. The molar mass of AGCL, 142.32. Calculator time. Four, one, two, five, 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 two, one, three, nine, eight, two. Ooh, about a tenth of more. I don't even need a calculator. Times one divided by one. Times one, four, two, one, three, two, eight, two. two sig figs, I'm gonna make 14 grams of silver chloride. Boom, done.